In this presentation, we are going to look at uh, anagrams as permutations. So this is all about uh, using permutation theory to look at how many ways we can rearrange the letters in words. So how many anagrams, permutations of the letters, are there for the following words? Answer, permute, anagram, and little. Well, let's look at the first one there. So I have given three examples of permutations of the letters. ASN, WRE, SAN, ERW, and so on. Now, since answer has six distinct letters, they're all different, the number of permutations is as follows. Six factorial, and that's equal to six times five times four times three times two times one, that is 720. Now, if you're not familiar with factorials, which is that little exclamation symbol there, I suggest have, uh, having a bit of revision of that first before you continue. So, uh, moving on, what we're going to look at now is the word permute. There are seven letters, but only six distinct letters. We have two E's there. Now, there are seven factorial ways to rearrange the seven letters, but... As you can sort of see here in this couple of examples I've given, interchanging the two E's does not result in a new permutation. It does not result in a new word, essentially. What we would have there is two identical anagrams. So I have them color-coded here, here. I have a red E and a blue E. And what happens if we swap? Really nothing, we get the same word. It's just the, uh, if the letters are uh, just swapped, but really we get the same word. Uh, M uh, mute pair or mute pair that's not a word but it's just an anagram again what happens if we swap over the e's it doesn't change anything so for each um anagram there is a sort of twin there's an identical anagram to it so we have two twice as many as we need which is to say so essentially what we're going to do here is divide the total number of permutations by the number of copies we have. So it's actually, the answer is half of uh, seven factorial. Seven factorial is 5,040. So the number of anagrams of the word permute is 2,520. And that cuts out all the copies. So that is part two. Now what we're going to do is look at part three. Now there are seven letters in the word anagram, but there are three A's. So this is uh, very similar to the last problem. For, uh, from before, we have seven factorial ways to arrange seven letters. But how many, let's just look at the uh, word anagram itself. How many copies of the word anagram do we get if we swap around the A's? There are actually six there, okay? So there, uh, all, we're, all we've done, I have a red A, a blue A, and a purple A. I just moved them around. That, th those are six um, uh, different um, arrangements, but really they're all spelling the same word. So we got six copies of the same permutation. So what we're going to do here is, what we do, do in this case is we divide 7 factorial by 3 factorial to account for all the identical um, anagrams. So it's the number of uh, copies of the same word, uh, letter. The factorial of that is how, what we divide by. So it's 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial. That is 5,040 divided by 6. Uh, so there are 840 unique anagrams of the word anagram. Okay. Now, just going back to part two again for a second, the correct answer of part two was seven factorial divided by two factorial. Just to be clear about that, it doesn't it doesn't change the answer, but it sort of sets out the uh, the rule of thumb a, a bit clearer as to what we do. So it's actually two factorial we divide by, which is just happens to be equal to two for that particular case. All right, the last one is the word little. There are six letters. And there are two T's and two L's. Now, there are six uh, factorial ways to account uh, to arrange six letters. But again, what we do is divide by uh, two factorial times two factorial. This is to account for the two L's. And this is to account for the two T's. So it's 720 divided by 4. 
and the answer there is 180. So that's it. That ends our pre that ends our presentation. And thank you. Bye bye.